It's the sixth match of the day after that wonderful win for Cheng Tang Ji and To Iwi. And it's Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young, the number three seeds, have been in absolutely electric form. Women's doubles taking on Su Ya Ching and Lin Wan Ching from Chinese Taipei. And looking at the draw, well, round three already filling up those berths. Kasuma and Pratiwi, the 16 seeds, will face off against Kitty Tarakal and Prajongjai. And down at the bottom half of the draw, well, the winner of this match will play either the Stoeva sisters or Yung and Yung from Hong Kong. And uh, still joining me in the commentary box, it, our great pleasure to have the world number 27 and double Commonwealth uh, Games medalist, Kirsty Gilmore. Kirsty, this women's doubles match, for me, Kim and Kong, up there with the best. Absolutely. They're 100% one of the, the top players in the world. And uh, my, <laughs> my Scottish teammates have played against them and uh, had a pretty tough time of it. So it's uh, they're definitely definitely one of the strongest players uh, pairs in this field. Uh, I think the times I've commentated on them, I mean, uh, to use one of the words you just used, explosive, that's it. When they do start getting that rhythm together, it's almost you can't even see what's happening. They, they move so fast and they're always on the attack. They're always looking for the aggression. Yeah, it's just the, the brick wallness of them. It's where are you going to find a space? Yeah. How are you going to get them out of position? Because they're just so solid. Absolutely. Well, that's the task that uh, is now put at the feet of Su Ya Ching and Lin Wan Ching from Chinese Taipei. And they are making their debut in the World Championships. Here come Kim and Kong. What a pair to face off in your debut at the World Championships. Well, Kirsty, you've been to the World Championships a number of times. You've been to the quarterfinals as well. As can you remember when when it was your debut? What what was it like? Was it overwhelming to be at the World Championships? Um, I think I approached it with absolute childlike naivete. To be honest, I don't think I really understood the magnitude of the occasion. To be like to be yeah. purely honest, about, um, it was uh, my first one was 2013 in Changzhou in uh, China. Um, and I had Tai Tzu Young first round. Huh? Um, I think go. I took a set. I think I took a set, or it was definitely into setting oh, for done. sure. So That's fantastic. Yeah. So, uh, getting ready for the coin toss here. I don't think I've actually got time to go through the um, titles and accolades that Kim and Common picked up this year, but I will try. Uh, they were first just recently. While well, looking at the head to head, Black, I think. Red. I mean, that must have been a while Black. ago. Well, no, that was this year, in fact, in the Red. 2023. One nil, first time that they who, met. Kim will serve. Who will receive? I wonder. So, and which side? Sue and Lin are oh, going to be able to build up on that head-to-head. -head. But as for Kim and Kong, it's their fourth appearance. They've been silver medalists beforehand. And just recently, of course, won the Australian Open, the Japan Open. They were second in Korea, quarterfinals in Singapore. I mean, it really has been a fantastic year for them. Them and another Korean pair, Baek, um, Baek Hana and Lee So Hee, they've also really pushed the women's doubles division. So, Su Ya Ching, 32 years old now, born in Tainan in Chinese Taipei, and is currently ranked 25, has been as high as 17 with another player, that's Wu Ti Jung. And as you said, Kirsty, they're really going to have to be looking for the tiniest of spaces in real time. It's not not even kind of guessing where it's going to be. They're going to have to see that space and try and fire into it. And there's her partner, Lin Wan Ching, 27 years old, born in Keelung. And this is her highest ranking right now. So as you said, you had a, well, a, let's, let's say a learning experience in your debut at the World Championships. I think that's what's going to be happening for them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's straight into the deep end for them. I think they, we've already had a, a match to warm up. Uh, yeah. I guess, but uh, I don't think... Well, it was I'm just going to go by minutes. the scores and the time. <laughs> I don't think it has taken too much out of them physically. So they'll be in a good place for this. I think they'll give themselves the best chance. Um, but I think we have to... If we were betting people, we would yeah. put our money on Kim yeah, and Kong. Yeah, absolutely. Kim So Young, uh, not only one of the players that's always smiling, she always has a smile on her face when she's playing. And I mean, for the, the skills that she has, yeah. even when she loses. 31 years old now and really the experienced part of the pair. And 
the 26-year-old partner of hers, Kong Hee Yong. At times, you can see them discussing as to what they have to do because they're always looking for that perfect game, really. And, I mean, they're coming close to, to getting, it has to be said, and they're real, not dark horses, they're full-on favourites for this, this week, has to be said, in the women's doubles. And they've got to buy in, so this is their first match. But generally speaking, from what I've seen from them on the World Tour this year, uh, they hit the ground running. Absolutely, yeah. I don't know the exact stats, but I would be fairly confident to say that they've probably almost always reached a quarterfinal, at, at the very least. Yeah, I mean, I can actually dig those out. That's what this, this wonderful internet's about. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at our umpire and service charge for this one, Caroline Worm and Artur Salus Noy. I think that's how you know you're an experienced commentator. You've got the names down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trust me, it's all research. All of it. <laughs> that's what it is. Uh. Well, it is going to be a very fast game that the Taipei pair are going to have to get used to. As I said, they, these top pairs have these different gears. Sometimes they don't need to get out of gear one. Um, when you know you do get to the finals, you get to the business end of these tournaments and they really start shifting through them. Well, and I think just as we'll just let the umpire get this game Ladies underway. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Su Yaxing and Lin Wangxing, Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Kong Hae Young and Kim So Young, Korea. Kim So Young to serve to Su Ya Ching. Lovell, play. Well, if you get this opening point, I will give you the full list. It was first at the Australian Open, first at the Japanese Open, second at Korea. Round of 32 at the Indonesian Open, oh, that was okay. the only one. Quarter-finalist at the Singapore Open, first at Thailand Open. <laughs> Round of 16 at the Malaysia Masters, maybe there was an off day for them. Sure. Uh, first at the All England, third at the German Open. Oh. I mean, it's basically once Sun and then quarter-finalist at the Malaysia Open. That takes us back one. to January. So yeah. You're talking about once every two or three tournaments, yeah. they're in the business end of it. Exactly, but I would say with the standard of ladies' doubles right now, you know... Yeah. An off day is a couple of percent, and that's someone right. else, that's, that's right. enough to leave the door open Seven for someone to sneak yeah. a win. So um, we're talking tiny, One. tiny margins oh. of performance. But fantastic viewing for the badminton fans around the world. And these um, pairs do take to court. Here's another one for you to perhaps tippy tappy on the internet for. Am I right in thinking that Su Ya Ching used to play singles? I'm sure I've played Su Ya Ching at singles. Uh, I think Two, you're right. I do one. actually think you're right. I'm sure I played out the Dutch. Uh, the Dutch 100 in 2015. I think I, I think I might have beaten her. Yes, she has played. <laughs> she was as high as uh, 21 in the world. Thank you. Yeah. Oosh. I was back in 2015. Three, Two. one. Good solid start from Kim, Kim and Kong here, not giving away many easy errors, staying solid so far. But it's just interesting that, you know, just we were just chatting Ooh. and then you look at the scoreboard Seven and it's 3 over. 1. Exactly. <laughs> Flies by. They do like to get straight onto the attack, as I said. They're not Three. one for long rallies. In fact, that has actually been one of their uh, weaknesses in that pairs, if they force them into long rallies, then the gaps start to start to turn up. If you let them play, they'll pretty much want to kill these points off within the first five or six Absolutely, uh, I think that's, shots. that's where the explosion comes into it. Yeah. They can shut down a rally in three, four, five four, shots, two. but if it goes longer, they're, yeah, more A little bit more, I think that's the same with, with any pair or player though, the longer the rally goes, it's a different type of game. Yeah. I think it's the human brain, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Something I'm combat, trying Five, to combat in my match game, games as well. So 5-2. And I watched them play uh, recently, and it's not just that explosion. They, they really, uh, as shot makers, uh, they can really pull rabbits out of hats. 
I think that's been a good development of the Korean, especially women's doubles in, in Six, recent years, two. of just that more creativity. Yeah. I think it used to be a bit standard. They had a set way of playing. Playing by the numbers. Absolutely. <laughs> and now I think we see it with uh, Kim and Kong. We see it with Bacon Lee. Just there's a, there's a bit more joy. Like you say, there's a bit more joy to it. And there's a bit more creativity to the shots. That side drift just yeah. just playing a role in that, getting called out there. Yeah, I'm expecting these, I said, well, for most of the matches we've watched this week, it's usually the first half of the first game where they get to terms with that sideways drift. Good power in the midcourt from uh, Four, Sue. Six. Again, Kim So Young oh. just wasting no time to get in on the attack. Five, six. Wonderful pressure by Seven Kong at the net. Seven, five. Some heavy taping on uh, Su yeah. Ya Ching's knee there. I think it's so easy to get lost into the game and, and you know not really think Seven's about over. the physicality behind it. And I think if you're on Six, the tour and you see the Seven. players as they move around, you realize exactly how much. Um, not just pressure on, on, on the body itself, but the, the frequency of the events that, that comes up. 100%. I think I did the uh, the maths for this year. Um, I think between tournaments and my club matches, I'll be 25, Seven, 25 weeks away Wow. Uh, and, and playing. and Unbelievable. And then training in between. So yeah. It's, it's, yeah. We, in badminton, we really have no off-season. Yeah, that's true. Commentators, we do. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's good, good for you. <laughs> no, it's, it's done continentally, so I said every time it switches to another continent, then we do get a little break. <laughs> Absolutely. <clears throat> hey, talking's hard too. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Service over. <laughs> Sheer power oh, from takes, Kim and Gong <laughs> there. It seven. takes a toll on you, I can tell you. <laughs> well, 8-7, a little bit closer than a mm. few commentators would have uh, called it, I'm sure, but still settling into their rhythm. And also playing on that slightly breezier side of the court as well. Doesn't really affect so Nine, much in doubles, and not so much as it does in singles, of course. But still, we have seen over the week that it's that top side of the court on your screen. Which generally, you can hit as hard as you like from. Yep. Ten, seven. I know there is a rule, there is a regulation um, for badminton that says that the drift has to be a certain speed. I think it's 0.2 meters a second either way. It doesn't seem that way when you go to each of the, Eight, the venues. It ten. seems like it's a bit more, but there's a, they test it out, obviously, at the, at the start of the week. Let me tell you, I've played in, in halls that are definitely not that. Torrential kind of hurricane winds. I have no idea. It's just... <laughs> It sometimes feels impossible. I tried to get out of that mindset, but sometimes It'll feels push particularly through it, right. impossible. This is where I think Kim and Kong are very good. Getting information and then just being a wave of power. Yeah. And, oh, saying that, turned that round very nicely. That was a really good Nine, counter from Su Ya Yeah, no, Su and Lin have actually kept pace with that score, but again, I, I haven't seen the second gear from Kim and Kong just yet. I think this is gear one. They really do, once they get that rhythm going, as you said, it's a advancing wall of pressure. Yeah. And there's that movement again. Uh, almost as if so they're tied on a string 11, at times. Nine, yeah. Interval. 
So, 11-9, even though they're not out of first gear yet, still ahead. So back on court and is the mark of champions that you can still be ahead when you're not playing your best. And I'm not saying that in any derogatory way towards Kim and Kong. As I said, they haven't really stepped into another gear yet. But still, they find a way to make these points work for them. It's still great credit to Su Lin. Well, 9 11 in. Now, I don't speak Korean, but I, due to the coach being so expressive, I feel like I know what she told them. <laughs> and that was? I think they need to be more, more ready with their rackets in the midcourt and the front court. I think they've been a little bit relaxed there. So I think they need to sharpen up in that mid front court. That is the best non Korean translation I've ever heard of. Hey, it could be completely wrong. It could but be. <laughs> that's what I feel like it will be and should be. I think you're right. I think that 13, makes perfect sense. Nine. Based on what, we saw, what we've seen in the first half of this game. They've, they've been caught a couple of times on the flat game, which is not like them. Um, yeah. So I think, yeah, they need to pay a little bit more attention there. 13 9. Good counter from Taipei. You can just see Tong Yi Young a little bit frustrated. Ten, her execution there mid court again, as you said, not quite ready. Hey. Yep. Not the kind of shot you'd expect them to miss. That's obviously got to be. 11. Oh, that 13. was in. Quite hey. high commentary perch up here. <laughs> Great return from Kong straight onto the attack. That's him that's found the line. And there's a 12, couple of misreads 13. as well. Taipei pair have been really solid in defence so yeah. far. Yeah. I can't explain to you how hard Kim and Kong can hit it. Um, so to they look quite relaxed, yeah. just sending it back. Over. Overshot this one. Yeah, that one did 14, fall the 12. way they wanted. So a couple of misreads to the back. Third one works. And again, left very well by Kim So Young. 15, 12. That's a skill in itself to be able to read that. Yeah, I'd say um, in a, an arena such as this, it's such a, a vast space. It's um, spatial awareness is such a skill. So you have you have kind of the lights, and maybe in doubles you also have your partner to kind of give you an anchor as to where you are in this big space. Um, but it is, like you say, an art to to knowing when how that shuttle is going to travel and what it means for your surroundings. Especially if it's a big lift coming in. If it's flat, you kind of know that it yep. might push past you. Him. Good defense. And just left that a bit short. Still 14, smiling. <laughs> Even when she misses. That's one thing. In addition to the skills, I thought it's just a great attitude to, to have when you're playing the game. Yeah. They do look like they enjoy themselves. Anyway, this one turning out to be an absolute cracker. Ah! Server's over. But it has been marred with a frequency of mistakes. 16, both sides. 14. But I strongly suspect that those errors that we've seen from Kim and Kong will be reduced. These top pairs 
have that knack of cutting back and he leaped points. Oh, nice. That was very nice. Well stepped in, but a very loose shot. Still smiling. <laughs> Some would say that's a good recipe for all life, but not just badminton. <laughs> I certainly would. Is life not just badminton? Well, see, you're a player. <laughs> That's the thing you just said. You don't get any time off. That's the thing. <laughs> badminton is life. Literally. <laughs> suddenly, suddenly we're level. Oh, which I'm actually surprised at, I have to say. I, I didn't think what would happen. But again, still haven't really seen the best out of... We're seeing the best out of the Taipei pair. Really seen the best out of the Korean pair yet. Yeah, fair play to the type paper. They must have they they are forcing them into making these errors. They're applying enough pressure to make them think twice about what they're doing or make them think that these shots have to be absolutely perfect. This is a very good defensive rally and a very good attacking rally from the type yeah. pair. Kim and Kong being very careful. That was a great rotation by yeah. them. Good use of the net, turned it round. We haven't had many of these kind of rallies no, this so is, far. So far, that was rally of the match. Absolutely. And that's also important in that no. No. the Taipei pair ahead. Now, no. we did look at Change. the head-to-head -head earlier. And it's one nothing to the Taipei pair. Yep. Maybe yep. they went back and watched that video and thought, hello. Maybe this is what we need to do. But again, as you said, there's watching it, there's thinking yeah. it, and there's executing it. You would think that Kim and Kong had also Seven. watched yeah. back at that video. Maybe they didn't. <laughs> Maybe they thought we'd been on such a great run recently. Uh, but I yeah. think that from what I've seen of the Korean national team, they generally, you know... They, Pretty diligent about these things. Yeah, they, they cover all the bases. So, 17-16. I wonder if we're going to see a shot. Wow, it's another <laughs> frustration from Kim. 18. It's a situation for them to deal with. Two points back. And a good shout here for Sue and Lin to try and claim this first game. Service over. Really got away with that one. Yeah. Mistake still coming through. 17, 18. Well, they seem up for it, Sue and Lin. Great power. now Service a great over. winner as well. Nineteen seventeen. Oh, well, well, things getting very dicey for Kim and Kong in this first game. Yeah, I think the Taipei pair have done very well at taking their opportunities. Okay, they've you know made a couple of errors, but with the margins are this tight, you have to go for your opportunities when they arise. And, and the they've, they've, yeah, they've executed them very well. And yeah, Kim and Kong are, are, have made uncharacteristic errors, perhaps not up to speed yet. This is, we haven't had this fast and furious speed yet in the match. So I think we're, we're both pairs are settled in and I think we can expect more rallies like this because in the latter half of this game, yeah. Is the only time we've seen 20 absolutely. longer rallies. Well, it's great for all the fans gathered here at the World Arena and watching from around the world. So, game point, three of them. movement from Kim and Kong is much more like what we're used to seeing from them. Really good, resilient power back when Kim and Kong really turn on the power. 
The got it. Wow, amazing. Great kill. Well, we were talking about commentators' curses, and when they stepped on court, we were saying it's going to be so difficult. 21-17. Kudos to the Chinese Taipei team. Getting back on court, and I have seen that interaction before when they have been behind. Um, Kim So Young usually has a couple of stern words, being the leader, I should say, of that pair. Sure. Now it'll be interesting on this side of the court to see exactly how they can Second tighten game. things up, and they can tighten the things up. But it's, right now, it's <laughs> shuttle in the court of Su and Lin. Right again. One love. Yeah, I don't think we're seeing top level Kim and Kong here, but I mean, absolutely fair play to uh, to Sue and Lin for taking full advantage of that. And it still takes a lot to to seal off these wins against these, you know, this former world number one, current Seven world rank over. three pair. One all. Oh. You still have to uh, seal it off. So really, really great performance for them in the first set and Kim and Kong I just hope that well I mean they're experienced enough to to not go overboard now and not be too yeah. desperate to win points yeah. yeah they're not they're not going to lose their their kind of focus at all it's I said to them it's still the match whether you lose the first game or not yeah on the second game it, it's about taking it to three and that's what they got to do now of course Good placement. The Thai paper have been very solid in the midcourt here. Two. Really oh. solid in their flat game, really solid in those counter blocks and finding that space, but with the right power. Like, that's an incredible shot inside to out and into the drift, or with the drift, should I say. Drift, yeah. Service over. Three, that's what it's all two. been about, climatizing to both sides of the court. That's what's going to really... But I said it earlier this week, there's only two things you can pick up at the World Championships, lessons or medals. <laughs> you win or you learn. That's Classic. it. Classic. Yeah. But you know what? You can win and learn. <laughs> <laughs> but great midcourt. Great to see much more open rallies now. As you said, they both warmed up. And this is what it's all about. Yeah, I don't know. It seemed like both, neither pair, oh, just long, neither pair seemed to have the confidence to, to build Four, up and, and work for these big long rallies in the in the start of the first set. Um, it, was it was only until about 16 yeah. um, that Where we saw this, any. This started happening, yeah. yeah. Body shots are working well as well for the Taipei 
Pep. Three, four. Body yeah. defense for Kim So Young, especially, has been a little bit off. Change. It's an awkward place, just off the shoulder. Really well placed, but uh, was it Su Yuching? Hey, hey. I think it was. As you said, as things get longer, the rallies get Five, longer. Three. More chances not only to score but also to make a mistake. Hey. Hey. Service over. Four, five. With that first game with the Taipei pair. Kim and Kong can't afford this. Can't afford to beat 4 5, 6 5, 7 5. You need to be building, finding that angle in, getting a good harvest to get that point run. Yeah, I think quite often with the with the top players, with that drift working against them there, um, it's quite often, you know, kind of, kind of evens up until 14, 15, 16, and then the quality of the top pair will shine through um, in those crunch moments, but whether Kim and Kong can make that happen today, we'll we'll have to find out. So I think it's much about make, keeping it even. I don't think you need to have a big lead. No, necessarily. It's, just, it's it's at the right time. It's exactly. Turning on the gas exactly when you need to. Now that was another mistake. Drifted out too wide. That's two out of three shots. For Kim and Kong that have essentially gifted points. You have to pull that in. Struggling with the drift for sure. Mm. And even on that side, you can actually see it coming in on the left. You can't take Way. any chances on that. Again, great shot. Yeah, there's just these kind of uncharacteristic loose shots uh, happening. Seven, and five. Uh, Lynn's absolutely pouncing on that one. Just that creep forward yeah. launch. You've got to time those just right as well. Yeah, but we are 100% playing on Su Yaqing and Lin Wan Ching's terms right now. I think e despite kind of being in a bit more of a defensive state, they are controlling this game well. Well, as I said earlier, it's like a transitional defense. If you yeah. can block and still have an offensive quality to your block, then you're still holding that point together. Absolutely, they're finding these little gaps. They're playing the really hard, firm game and then Eight, finding these gaps. Five. It's been really impressive from the Chinese Taipei pair so far. Bleeding errors from the Koreans. Yeah, and then those costly errors have led to a three-point lead for Su and Lin. One game up, not critical yet, but certainly something to think about. Eight. Nine, five, ladies. Ladies, you need to be quiet until he makes the signal, yeah? It is such a reflex, just when you think you've hit that shuttle well and the uh, the lane call is contrary to that, you do have to, you give a little shout and you have to apologise, but it is a reflex. They are a very vocal pair, actually, Kim and Kong. Yeah. A nice Good switch up. switch up from Kim. Six, nine. There was the big shot, and then disguises it, drops so viciously into front court on the right side. So with serve, six, nine, again, chasing. Long challenge coming. Surprised we haven't seen more Keep of these challenges coming. Called out. Well, to be honest with you, Kirsty, that actually did look out. 
Well, the undisputed truth that is Hawkeye. That's heartbeat. Is going to decide that point. Here it comes. No. Oh. Nope, absolutely in. Well, Correction. In every sense of the word. <laughs> Key nine. Well done. Seven, nine. Play. So important serve for Kim and Kong. Long. Nine. That's one point back. They can just level it up at nine. Ah. Maybe make a shout for the mid-game interval. And they can start there. Well, what is a very uphill task against this competent ah. pair. There's another mistake. They've got that nine, nine point. Old. In doubles especially, just because the, um, the service situation is so important, it's so key, it's such a tight... Ah set piece that third shot basically one two three four shots yeah. errors can come like that and we've just seen two or three points within about 30 seconds so games can be turned around very quickly especially in doubles yeah. good Straight pressure again by kim and kong as soon as Ten, kim moved into the nine. back kong slips in the front it's brilliant brilliant to see so the, the formation the positional movement's been great just those errors as you said to the left and the right that has been pegging them back every time. It's two steps forward, one step back, essentially. I'd say the, uh, the type A pair are in a much better rhythm, I say that, as they, as they hit one out. But um, when they get into the real rallies, they've been in a much better rhythm, for sure. Well, back on court. So, Kirsty, did you get anything from that? that I see what you mean about a very expressive coach. Well, very so expressive. What I think is happening is um, that's all we want. I, th <laughs> I think she's saying we have to just be more confident in the rallies. We have to have those mid-court battles and then open up onto the back line again. Right, right. Find yeah. those spaces in behind, and then we can maybe look at the counters again. Then you start controlling the point once that happens. Exactly. Don't be afraid to reset it onto the back line, and then we'll deal with the defense. Because they have really been struggling in the midcourt, oh. the Korean pairs. Yeah, they have. Pair. So obviously over. pull in those errors as well. 10, 11. And already we've had a, one of the better rallies of, of this match. Yeah. And that's just, a, I mean, luck okay. and unluckiness. Depends which side you're on. Seem to be a little bit more <laughs> happy with that, but again, it's just two points in. I think the real litmus test is going to be at the end of this game. They can secure the second well, game and then really 11. start applying these um, <laughs> new, I don't want to say new ideas, but these this new thinking in this match into the third game, and that might do it. That was nice, a little drop. Good defense. That's good rotation by Kim and Kong. Wait. Well worked. Yeah. Seven yeah. Over. Really well worked. To see the start of that rally, it was it was the defense, Twelve. it was the cool oh. cam, just bumps onto the back line. 
they get a chance to turn it around and then they stay in that attack. Yeah, and that was the first kind of wall that we saw. It wasn't the most powerful wall, but it was that alternating smash pattern essentially that was coming through. Yeah, they're normally so confident in that. I haven't really seen that come out yet in this match. Unsided. Unsided for me. Unsighted serve. So, so things not a hundred percent. Makes it a little bit longer than challenges on the flanks. Yeah. That's out. out. Short. Server's over. Lynn seemed pretty confident 19, of that anyway. 12. Deep serve. He gets on top of it. Good pressure forward. And then they find the gap, go down the other side. Over. Again, there was that rotation in the middle of it as well. We we'll just see that 13, now. All. See, from this hit from Kim, it's just she's already moving forward, she's ready for that next one. Always the intention. Like a miss hit in the middle of that. A little bit, yeah. That's the push to the back. Still very clearly now they've at least got the attacking part of it sorted 14, out. The defending 13. part of it sorted out. They've got the Chinese Taipei pair fully on the defense. But that word, explosive, that's what we were talking about before, and that just seems to be a bit lacking. It seems a bit more labored. Um, it's kind of one pace. The There's not that, like, injection to it. Yeah. Um, we're starting to see a little bit more of it now. Server's over. But These are dangerous, dangerous 14. times oh. being one game down. Change. But Su Ya Ching and Lin Wan Ching are still very much in this. I think yes, we're uh, absolutely. I mean, we're, we're focusing, focusing on yeah on Kim, Kim and Kong, Kong but, but they are slowly but surely creeping towards what could be wow, a headline famous victory if they if they get this. All they need to do is stay level. They need to yeah. stay level and then pounce. A, a, a you know an inch <laughs> could be the deciding factor. Service over. Fifteen fourteen. Or centimeter for all you European listeners. Ladies, <laughs> ladies, be quiet until he makes the call. Okay. Well, Kim and Kong relying on the court lines again. No, 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 no. Ah! Oh, that could have been the kill. Six. Tricky Six. one, just Four. slightly Six. behind her. Both pairs refusing to lift almost in this rally. Yeah. Want to keep it as flat as possible, mid-court to mid-court. Absolutely. Now into the attacking pattern. Well, Kong knew that that shouldn't have really been a, a big clear. Good defense. That was a bit confused at the top. 17-14. The thing is, they're getting closer to the... Conclusion, as you said, into these last five points of the game, things get a little bit more nervy. And even some of their footwork is looking a little bit more jittery. That, well left. That, you don't usually see that. That was well left. 17-14. Well, they'll take this game however they can take it. Move to a third. 
You're right, Sue and Lin have every chance. Soon like they just have to oh well, unfortunate. mistake, but their defense has 18, been 14. they just have to believe that they could they can actually clinch this and not think, oh yeah. we're playing against Kim and Kong. And that we should give them a, a, a game because of, of who they are who and they then are. play a third. Yeah, you've got to go for the kill. I completely agree. Service over. 15, that does happen a lot in badminton, actually. I've noticed with some of these big players that are on huge, hot winning streaks, they have this reputation that kind of moves ahead of them. A hundred percent. They've almost, they've almost, they're starting ten points ahead. You go on court against Victor. Oh yeah, you, scares the life out of you, right? Pre precedes him. Yeah. Kim looking for the hook. Good rotation Great there. Defense. Yeah, wonderful defense. Now that's I would challenge. bound to be challenged. I would challenge that. That's worth a challenge. I don't know, it looked like edge of the line for me on the outside. I think it might have clipped the line, but with the with the drift, with, normally that would be very much inside that line, yeah. in the singles tram line, but with the drift, the shuttle just acts a bit differently. And sometimes I've seen, not necessarily in this tournament, but line judges almost being being sure of what the call will be. Yeah, all right. Uh, like preempting the call. It's Ooh, out. It's out. Good Correction. challenge. Out. Great challenge. They just cranked up the AC 16, for that last 18. centimeter there. Such an important point. 19-15 or 16-18. Big difference there. Huge. Yeah. Good racket carriage there. Well, again, holding their own, Sue and Lin. Now on the attack, trying to find an angle in. Oh, that was good. Oh. That angle cross court. That looked like it could have set up the chance. 19, really 16. good rally. Both pairs this looking one. much sharper in the midcourt and forwards. Oh, that's such a shame on that. They've been straight to the corner, yeah. I think to anyone watching, it's, it looks like a, an open court, but you're still so aware that it needs to be absolute absolutely, quality. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Thread the needle. Yeah. 19, 16. Next two points, absolutely crucial for both pairs. Server's over. Oh, well, well. 17, they 19. haven't quite eradicated that level of mistake yet. And it might just cost them. Oh, Sue and Lin taking, taking it nice and easy on this is a perfect, you know, a little bit of Definitely. break in the rhythm. Good serve. Great mid-court play. Absolutely brilliant. As you were saying, that service action, the first four mm -hmm. shots, that's what they just did. Now one point back, and you have 18, to say this. 19. The last thing Kim and Kong are going to want is to take this to extra points and be dicing with the match. Absolutely. Well, the other thing I said today, if you're going to be the best, you have to beat the best. And that's... Got to be in it to win it. And that's on par with that. You either win or learn. <laughs> All those three terms will really take you far in sport. I think this is quite a crucial point. This is a big point. It's a huge point. Oh, again, Kim comes in with the steep angle, and it's two game points. Change. Yeah, and I'm, I don't think I'm exaggerating in saying I think these are probably the two most important points for Kim and Kong that I've seen them play in a good few tournaments. Absolutely. It's now or never. This is quite the situation that they're in. Well, let's see what Sue and Lin have up their sleeves. Service over. They've made, that's maybe the third service error, and it's so 20. uncharacteristic of them. And on a, on a match, or a yeah, set on point. A set point as well. Oh, 
this is crucial stuff. Kim, get, get ready. Out. That's wonderful work from Sue and Lin. I was just watching them as they moved around. They just had to be so careful, and it's extra points. First to two or first to 30, and Kim and Kong dicing with the match. Oh, such a shame. In any other circumstances, it was great to get a net card. Not on that serve. It's been quite dicey, quite nervous um, serve yeah, situations. Edgy. So, game point. Their third. Ah! Oh! Server's over. Intention as a player. Would you have actually it, aimed for that? It definitely is a, a tactic to uh, go for the net cord, yeah. And the doubles players in particular, they absolutely train that. Oh, wow. And that couldn't have been any deader. <laughs> That's right. There's no way you could pick that up. So, three game points saved, 21 all. Great backhand. And then back in the plate. It's that wave of Korean power coming at them now. But their def the Chinese Taipei pair's defense has been incredible this whole stout. game. It's been stout as well it is. Resilient and it still is here. So solid. And that oh, wind's oh, gonna get them. Out. In any other circumstance, that's Silver. hitting middle of those doubles tram lines. That's 22, a perfect shot. 21. That is the concentrated drift point, that corner. That corner in particular, yeah, up for and, sure. Up and to the right. So, game point number four. They're still in there. That's 22. four game points saved. And it's on serve, 22 all. Catches the breeze. It's possibly Lynn's natural 22. tendency to go that way with her defense. And in this hall, it's just a, ma a matter yeah. of bringing it in. in replay, you could actually just see it. Yeah, doesn't off. behave how it should behave. Yeah. Fifth game point. Rally. Yeah. Oh, what a passage of play. Excellent and it's rally. a fifth game point that has gone a begging, but you just saw the movement from both pairs there was unbelievable. Su and Lin opting wisely, I guess, to go for the opposing corner where the drift is actually trying to pull it in. Yeah. I think Kim and Kong have been dominant on the attack, but the but uh Sue and Lynn have been uh, stout, dominant in that, that midcourt. Yeah. They've just been holding firm in midcourt, and the defence, as you said, has been excellent. And being the attacking pair takes a lot more energy than being the defending pair. 
So Lynn and Sue are in a, I would say they're in a better, well, they are in a better position. Mm. They're set up right now, but physically. Go on. And it's mesmerizing stuff and it's a shot to the feet and Sue and Lynn get their first match point. 24-23. It's the first time they've managed to turn it around to a full attack, and yeah. they've absolutely executed. Yeah. It's really impressive. Why? Really had to pop up and snatch that point. So, they've saved five game points. Now, oh, can they convert their first match point? Having a giggle at I don't that know, point. how can you smile at that point? <laughs> how, can you, how can you be happy? No mistakes allowed for Kim and Kong. Sue and Lynn are just so happy to sit back and, and just absorb. Just, yeah, defend, just soak you it up. You do the work. You do the work. And really pouncing on that net when they've got an opportunity to get onto a counter. And trying to move forward. Oh, caught flat. So Wonderful that. from Kim to shift it up, vary it up. Oh, she's not smiling Ooh. anymore. <laughs> Animated. I don't blame her. That was cheeky. very smart. That was cheeky. It was tricky is what it was. Yeah. Caught them flat. And that's the only way you could have stopped that defensive line. So, one match point saved. Five game points okay. saved. And we're running out of points in this, in this game. In this set. That's the thing. First to 30. I've only seen that happen once, actually. We'll check it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm sure you've seen you've seen a few of them. You must have. I've seen a 30-28. I've seen a couple a couple of 29. Yeah, the 30-28. Okay. I think there was an um, Axelson. I think it was an Axelson match. There had, yeah, I think he has had one. Yeah, um, I think I've been involved in 28-26. Uh, I think maybe my oh, highest. Oh, it's physically brutal. taxing. Yeah, brutal. So 24 all, and I'm sure that Kim and Kong. We're not expecting this, but now they're in it. That was very dicey for them. Facing that match point, what were the mistakes that they've been making? Left a big gap in the yeah. court there, but covered yeah. well. <laughs> Relentless. Again, yeah. So Kim Kong steps in. Ooh, nice pick up there by Sue. That's their favorite corner. It's, it's just not going to go out there. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's never so safe. Come out. You're right. If in doubt. Go left, yeah. Go to that corner. Again, it really is a situation being a set down that they can't make any mistakes anyway. Kim and Kong. What a rally. Rally the match so far. We might see a couple of breather shots here. Yeah, yeah, where they slow it down. Oh, they've done it. They've found space. Absolutely. A little miscommunication. Worn them down. They were just waiting for that opportunity that they would find that spot, and they did. 94 shots, that's... 94 shots incredible. has got to be the longest rally I've seen this morning. It is. Wait. In fact, 94 is the longest this week that I've seen. Yeah. I think it was 87 was yesterday. That was, the, that was the longest 24. one I saw. Obviously, women's doubles as well. Sure. Kim, now, second match point. Again, Kim and Kong can't afford to make a mistake. Now, th this is completely different from the, the first set. This is both pairs absolutely up to speed. I was actually going to say, the passage of play that we've seen when compared to the first half of the first mm -hmm. set, unbelievable It's how different it is. There has to be a, a, a period of time for figuring out the haul, figuring out how much you need to give this match, but I think both pairs are fully throwing themselves into it that now. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're getting some good badminton here. Little medical just break. noticed. Well, as you said, it's physically taxing if you're the attacker. 
Now that's, I hope that doesn't become a significant part of it. I said we, you said it, we're right in the middle of a great passage of play. I was just about to say when the camera was on them that um, Sue and Lynn are having a giggle. <laughs> They're laughing on the other side. They're loving it. Yeah. yeah. Other side. And this. Yeah, okay. Other side. Okay. No, no. Where is it? Oh, I can't. Yeah. Uh, take off. Oh, it's not Kelly's troubles. Oh, she's been bouncing around that back line. And here. Okay. Does play a very physical game. If you think about the amount of smashes that she puts into each of these rallies. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. You play? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's serious business. So, Sue and Lynn ready to go. Such a strange point in the game to take a to take a, a medical break. A break. Yeah. It's um, absolutely fair play. If, if you need a medical break, you need a medical break. But for Rhythm. for it to be in a match point down, and to how do they get momentum back from this? Exactly. They, you know that whole thing of not being able to make a mistake after you've just taken a one minute break from medical treatment. Well, we said it earlier on the week, the World Championships delivers absolutely everything in terms of badminton, and this is another one of those classic matches. I mean, just looking ahead, should Kim and Kong do it, what's the third set going to be like? Yeah. You know, if, of course, you get there, as a sports journalist, a commentator, 25, I'm always looking forward. 24. So here we go. 25-24, second match point after a sizable delay. Hey. Uh, medical treatment on Kim's Achilles. I did notice in that point that Kim wasn't really moving. All. It was absolutely yeah. dead centre. Might take her a couple to get um, loosened up again. But I think the Koreans using down that uh, left side line here is their is their safe spot, and they're yeah. they haven't really yeah. used it as much as the Taipei pair have used the Koreans' back forehand corner as their safe spot. Well, there's been a masterclass of defending from the Taipei pair. Absolutely. Oh, again. So it is. I've lost count. I, <laughs> I think it's a six. I think six 26, game point. 25. Well, the fans here at the Royal Arena absolutely mesmerized. position there but recovered well okay. oh great he kill by Kong so 27 25 and it is going to be a third and deciding game second game won by Kim So Young and Kong Hae Young 27 25 one game all oh, what an absolute marathon second game There's Kong coming in with the kill. Just shifted over to the right. And he's grounded it. Oh, 
So back on court for the game that I think everybody in this world arena has been waiting to see. 58 minutes they've been on court. We've had pretty much everything that you could have Final in a badminton game. match so far. 94 Lobo. shot rallies. Play. Match points saved, game points saved. A 27-25 second set. Service over. Straight in with a service error. One. <laughs> sorry, to, sorry to. Uh, well, I said, I said, no, split. no. It's everything that was in a badminton <laughs> match, and that is in there as well. <sighs> you made it sound so good as well. <laughs> I know it was, it was flowing, and then it, you, that's that's when you drop. <laughs> We'll be looking for that little drop in. Now, remember, in the start of this match, One. when they were on this oh. side of the court, they weren't too happy. Of course, they have warmed up since then. I wonder if being on that better side of the court is going to help a defensive pair like Su and Lin. Yeah. They've been completely mid-court based, let's mm. face it. So, they haven't really been looking for the big winners down the line into the corners. Yeah, I think we're Kim and Kong are the side of the court that they're on. They can afford to hit it as hard as they want into that wind. Two, um, one. But yeah. the Taipei pair are going to have to be, a, a, like, I'm talking a percent more careful on their lifts uh, on this I've side. I've wondered about that. I've always wondered about how you can actually gauge that pull back 95 to 96%. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's so in the moment and it really comes with just instinct and, and feel. The amount of training that you've done. Yeah. But um, that's what separates the the best from the middle. Uh, do you, just as a as a sidebar, do you train in drifty conditions just Three, so that you get one. better at, at dealing with wind? We've tried to find ways to manufacture that aircon and manufacture that wind, but the reality is that we train in a warehouse in Glasgow and we don't have oh, this yeah. space to create wind. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, we I more guess. train with um, in terms of touch and feel. So we'll play games where the back tram lines are out or right. the front service Four, line is out. One. So that you have to adapt your court position, you have to adapt your, your hitting um, pace. So you get an idea of length. Exactly, that, yeah. so that you're able to make those adaptations in a bit of a manufactured way. Um, so your body does all the work, essentially. Exactly, yeah, you right. can kind of choose those options when it comes to, to drift. Obviously, the shuttle doesn't fly the same, yeah. so it is a bit of a, a manipulation, but um, Five, neurologically, it's still the same kind of, get, yeah, really, the closest yeah. we can get. Fantastic, wonderful insight. So. While we've actually given you that insight on how to train, yeah. <laughs> it's 5-1 now. Kim Kong uh, getting into that groove. Oh. And I have to say, the error is now creeping in on the other side, and Six. it's kind One. of a bit harsh on Su and Lin after all the effort that they've put in in these first two Quick. sets to be 6-1 down in the third, but that's the way it falls, I guess. Yeah, and it's been uh, six quick-ish points. Yeah. Yeah. Um, seeing that, I think almost like counterintuitively, the more willing Kim and Kong are to play these long rallies and yeah. just be in attack, be in attack for the 94 <laughs> shots that it's going to take, that will leak into the Taipei pair's heads and they'll yeah. be looking for solutions quickly yeah. and making little errors yeah. like that, giving away One. points because well, they know the work that it's going to require. As you said, at those first eight points, three minutes on court, that's yeah. what it took. And also they have to get over that... Um, they have to get over that hurdle of um, losing those match points as well. You know, they had their chances in the second, and maybe however, however well trained you are, you want those to work. Eight. Absolutely. You, know, you have to get, get over that. Now, 8-1, it's a sizable lead. Yeah, whether it's Kim and Kong settling into the hall, settling into how they're going to play these particular opponents, might be yeah. a bit of both, but they're 
they're moving and grooving a bit better now. Personally, I have to say, um, I would, I've enjoyed this match more than a straight 21-6, 21-8 Kim Kong win. Oh, which of you course. see, which is the full attacking exhibition, essentially. Sure. Yeah. yeah I think so, maybe they have as well. You know, they, they've never been really pushed at this stage of the tournament this far. Yeah. And uh, personally, for me, there's a bane coming on court. <laughs> no, it always happens. Uh, to everyone watching, that big applause is not just for us in the commentary box. Also, there's a home player that's stepping out, Nina Christopherson in the women's singles. Great home support here at the Royal Arena. Absolutely. Personally, for me, I sometimes quite like to have, a, let's call it a little scare, a little three-set yeah. scare. Yeah. Three-set Gilmore, Keep some people have called me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, it just proves, if, if you're able to come through it, it just proves to yourself that you you're can. able to do yeah. that in do at crunch time. Ten. So 10-2 and into the, getting closer to the third and final mid-game interval. And Kim and Kong in commanding form here in the third. But if you've just joined us, it really wasn't the story of this match. That's been called in. That looks edge of the line to me. Challenge coming. I think there might have been a, a clipping but we've been wrong before. Yeah, it's also the feathers. That's, that's what really True. It, it takes your eye off it when you've got the feathers there. We really got to think about the cork. Here we go. Oh, again, we're wrong. Uh, we're not on that. We're not directly at that line, though. So we'll give ourselves a break. I, I see Hawkeye as AI. <laughs> hey, I mean, it's, it's good to be human. Exactly. You know, it's good to be wrong sometimes. <laughs> uh, my belief Three, is it all, even, all evens out in the end. <laughs> Large grand karma scheme. So 3-10 and a chance for Sue and Lin to try and cut into this lead. Good. Midcourt again getting that down below the tape so that Kim and Kong are always hitting up. But I guess the real problem for Sue and Lin here is that if you've if you've really put all of your chips into defending and a defensive strategy when you're 410 down and you now really have to attack that has to you know you've really got to change the dynamics of how you're approaching absolutely match. well 11 4 and kim and kong close or closer to completing the task Oh, getting back on court now. And, you know, as I said, that exchange always happens the same way. Kim So Young looked a little bit more animate when they were really up against it. Now she's calmed a bit, but it's always that way. Kong Hee Young always listening, takes it on board, and then tries to deliver. Yeah, it's almost the coach comes on, says the the broad strokes and then they rephrase it yeah in the i assume this is what's happening my korean's not no it looked much. i said it looked it looked exactly they like rephrase that. it in the way that they understand it as a partnership and what that really means for them within the rallies so 11 4 onto the better side oh. mistakes still creeping in to sue and lynn's game just i i, I want the Taipei pair to believe that they don't have to do more. It looks like they're trying to find tighter spaces, play better shots. Yeah. And that's not what's got them this but far. I, I said, I think I think what we have to take into account is, is the ranking as well. When it comes down to top five and top ten, um, they have this ability to go into the three games with that placid, static attitude. Whereas if you're getting over the 20s and into the 30s, that's where the errors can come in and it's that it's absolutely human, as you said, to have that emotion, yeah. um, but controlling it. 
And you look at the likes of, especially in singles, Victor Axelsson and Yamaguchi, win or lose, you just can't tell what they're thinking. It's yeah. absolutely placid. Stoic. Stoic, that's the word. Hey! Last set, that would have been comfortably knocked into the mid-court, but there's just that little edge of desperation to Sue and Lynn right now, making a few errors that they, yeah. they haven't been making in the last set. The I think set. they've already done. That second set was really enough in terms of this match of what they've done. Their defensive masterclass, that was a word. Exactly. Unbelievable. That's again the... Drifty, windy corner. Got to go back to 15, find that safe spot four. and that rear forehand of the Koreans. Well, by the numbers, 15-4, 11 points down <laughs> against the number three seeds. It's, well, the tables have turned. Ball. And credit Set to Kim and Kong that. for undertaking this monumental task Five, after the first 15. game. Yeah. Absolutely, I think there's the belief that they have that they will come through a match like this. And the belief that they have in the quality. Oh, you saw the way that was coming that back. That <laughs> but not enough. a whole lot more out. 16, five. Defies physics. Was a nice oh. drop in by Lin. Picked up nicely by Kim. Okay. There's another mistake. So 17 5. 17 5. Yeah, the Koreans really have a hold on the momentum here. And yeah. you can just see there's like Quick. small bits of like indecision or tentativeness yeah. Yeah, with the, the Taipei pair. Well, it's very hard to defeat stats in form and ranking, in fact. And uh, I saw one yesterday, um, Lu Guangzhou against Wang Su Wei, 85 minute match. Su Wei comes through. Brilliant, absolutely fantastic to watch. Um, and he really, as you said, he had to play every corner of the court. He had to really, really fight through it to the point he was actually almost physically sick at one point. Oh, been there. Yeah, I've seen that happen a couple of times, I can understand. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. They could come Set up with a, a lot more of those flat attacks. And that was into the windy corner as well. The dust bowl, as I call it. <laughs> that perhaps weed. made it just, just travel that extra couple of centimetres past uh, Kim's racket. Thank you. Oh, the badminton moonwalk, <laughs> I like to call it. Not impossible from here, but a tough ask. It's mathematical. It's not impossible, but it's highly unlikely. Mm -hmm. And that's with all credit to Sue and Lin. Oh, that's that it. Power oh. down that those so tram lines and then go down the middle. Because that down those tram lines, it's gonna you're gonna 18, it's gonna be closer six. to you than you think it is. You've got no choice but to turn it into the court. Yeah, yeah. And it just sets up for the next one. Wow. Good. Oh. Good power, yeah. Server's over. Seven eighteen. Well, credit to them for sticking it out. And as you said, it's looking a little bit more nervy now in terms of their general approach. Oh, that's good defense. That's good defense. Oh, that was a nice shot. No. No. But whereas in that, in the second set when they were defending, they kind of looked like you couldn't get past them, they could do it all day. 
now they're looking a little bit more beatable on yeah. this side of the cracks the are net. showing. Oh, yeah. That's the thing, it's still there. It's still 10, there. 18. I have to say, this would be the headline of the week <laughs> if this turned around. <laughs> How much drive and hunger have they got? Are they willing to play 100 shot rallies against probably one of the best attacking pairs in the division? Uh, Let's hope so. Yeah, 11 points. I'd love it. Well, let's cut that probability down a little. I think there's a, a couple of big hits coming their way. Yeah. Nice pick up by Kim. Gave from that furious well plant rally. Yeah. 11, they really, 19. Kim and Kong are really getting stuck in this mid court section. They can't seem to escape Lin and Sue, um, but just not able to execute in those key points. I wonder what their rivals who are watching this are thinking about the rest of the week. Should they get through? It's been a great strategy and approach from Sue and Lin. Yeah. So, finally, and that's after 74 minutes, they have their own match point after saving two, remember, earlier on in this match. They've not just got one, they've got nine. Drop, caught them flat once again, and it's after 75 minutes. They will move on to round three to face either the Stoeva sisters. <clears throat> I'm actually out of my, my voice is going hoarse <laughs> from a great, great match. Um, or Jung and Jung from Hong Kong. So, normal service has been resumed, kind of. But uh, what a match that was. Looking at that last match again. Uh, the last point again, Kim 11. primed it for the big shot, saw them just sitting back a little bit, drops it perfectly into front court. Yeah. Not the finest performance from them, but definitely one for the neutrals. And there's confirmation of it, absolutely marathon match. And a lot for them to think about, as I said, maybe their rivals and competitors have also been watching this and think, well, that's very interesting uh, as to how you can beat some of the best attackers in the division. So coming up next, it's women singles. Kim ga -un versus Busanan on Bang Rum Fan. Don't go anywhere.
thank you very much to my co-commentator Jeevan Salvanathan for taking us through the first